Divya Maderna. She's joining us from Jodhpur. She was in Jaipur this morning. Uh, she is an MLA and she believes what went down two days ago was wrong and should not have happened. Uh, it was a complete slight uh, of the high command and she also maintains, and Divya, correct me if I'm wrong, that uh, the rebellion which was put together allegedly by Sachin Pilot, as per you, was much smaller and lesser than the than what you feel is a bigger rebellion by these 92 MLAs as Ashok Gehloth camp claims. Hi, Preeti. I wouldn't be able to make a statement on 92 MLAs, but I certainly seen the Parliamentary Affairs Minister, Mr. Shanti Dhariwal, the Chief Whip, Mahesh Joshi, who informed every single legislator to come for the CLP meeting, they themselves boycotted the meeting. MLAs and the figures that they are uh, giving is absolutely wrong. I believe that every congressman, they were having a pressure that everybody must come and meet them in groups and not individually. Every single day now, every single hour, you see an MLA is coming out and saying, no, we were called, we were, uh, there was misinformation. We were called by the chief whip saying that please uh, uh, gather here and we will all go together. Everybody is coming out. I think what is really important is a parliamentary affairs minister who's part of the cabinet, the chief whip of the party, if he calls somebody and says, please gather at our uh, Mr. Minister's residence and we will all go to the CLP, I think every single legislator would believe it's the sanctity. All right. Uh, you know, Divya, you say you don't know if these are actually 92 MLAs. Have you been able to touch base with many of your own colleagues, your own party colleagues? What do they make of what actually went down? Where do the numbers tip right now? Are they still staunchly in favor of Ashok Gehloth? No, uh, you know, I don't think there was anything pro Ashok Gehloth or against Ashok Gehloth anywhere. It is a drama that was led by, as the visuals were all out, you could have seen a video of Mr. Shanti Dhariwal, the Parliament Affairs Minister, who was questioning the High Command. And he said, "What? who is High Command and High Command must answer this. It's on the public domain. So as a Congress worker, everybody is hurt. And I'm sure the, even the Chief Minister must have intervened and he must have been hurt as well that you don't make these comments and you don't do parallel meetings like these. But, you know, Divya, do you actually believe that uh, Ashok Gehloth had absolutely no idea that this meeting would have been carried on uh, while there was a CLP called at the same time? These are all allegedly his loyalists. Benefit of doubt, because if uh, Mr. Parli Parliamentary Affairs Minister was questioned and the kind of language that he used for high command, I'm certainly sure that no chief minister or no senior member is going to tell him to make comments like these. So I would like to give him a benefit of doubt. I don't think anybody, anybody would say that you stage a show and go against high command and do these kind of things. I don't know what went wrong, who took the shots, what was behind the curtain, I won't be able to comment. But clearly, Shanti Dharibalji and Mahesh Joshi, one is Parliament Affairs Minister, one is the Chief Whip of the party, who had called every legislator to come at 7 o'clock to the Chief Minister's residence for the meeting, and they themselves boycotted. So I think that it has sheer indiscipline by these two who were leading the campaign. Mm -hmm. Uh, Divya, tell me something. Were you also given a call to come to Shanti Dhariwal's residence? No, I wasn't. I had only one call by the chief whip the previous evening to come to seven uh, at seven o'clock to the chief minister's residence. So you were you were not called to Shanti Dhariwal's residence. You were called I to the called chief minister's residence for the official CLP. Right. Divya, I want to ask you. Uh, you as an individual. Uh, will you comply if the high command actually picks uh, uh, Sachin Pilot as the one who will take over from and if uh, Ashok Gehlot steps down or in the scenario that was earlier? Preeti, you know, to be very honest, when the PS1 2020 happened, I was very much there at the time of the uh, uh, when Mr. Gehlot was uh, leading as the CLP leader. I was so concerned uh, by them because the official CLP leader but the meeting was held there and the official Congress observers were sent. I will be absolutely okay if the Congress president decides that Mr. Gehloth is going to continue. I will be absolutely okay if she happens to choose another name. I am just not questioning her decision, whatever name, whatever situation that she says, whether it's going to be continuation, whether there's going to be a change of pace, whether it's going to be from 102, whether it's going to be from 19, I am going to abide and stick by the one-line resolution that whatever is being said and commanded by the high command.
what is going down right now? Uh, have you been able to talk to the other MLAs as well? Is there consensus that they were, some of them, uh, you know, were taken for a ride with what happened two days ago? Is there consensus building up that, you know, they need to speak up for the high command? What went down was wrong? Uh, you know, it's already there in the public domain. You see, Mr. Kushmi Singh Jodha has come out, given a statement. Indra Muna, another legislator, said, I don't know what was what papers they made me sign. You had Prashant Berwa who said, I'm going to stick by Allah Kamal. Uh, you had um, uh, another MLA, uh, Mr. Yadav, uh, Sandeep Yadav, who said, I'm going to stick by Allah Kamal. Every minute and every second in newspapers, all in video files, they're all coming, they're all saying that we were misinformed, we were said that please come to Shanti Dharibar's residence and we are all going to go in one group to the uh, CLP meeting at the CMR residence. Divya, history in Rajasthan stands testimony, and I would reckon your father has also paid the price. Uh, where that one line CLP, you know, uh, resolution is followed blindly uh, and loyally at that. Uh, would you think this was the first time that what has happened happened? I totally believe we've, I think as Congress, uh, disciplined Congress workers with our faith and loyalty in the uh, Congress party and the high command, there has always been a resolution, a one-liner. It has been in 98, it has been in 2008, it has been in 18. Again, what happened at Fairmont Hotel in 2020, whatever decisions the high command has taken, and I believe that's the culture in Congress in Pan-India, not only in Rajasthan. Everybody abides by whatever decision is by, taken by Congress president. And if somebody like Shanti Dhariwal gets up in a meeting and says, who oh, High Command cannot do this or can High Command do it, I believe we're not spineless legislators. As congressmen, we're not spineless. We are going to condemn and we will not let High Command be questioned in this fashion at all. Is there now, you know, because now, uh, you know, my last two questions to you, Divya. Is there now a sense by a certain group of the MLAs to get together and vocally come out and stand against what at least some of you feel is bullying by the cabinet? Uh, well, I don't know if there's a group of people who said that they were doing individual people and the people are coming out. But the one thing that the media didn't cover that night is, but there were you know, uh, a big number of group uh, of MLAs who, other than the Sachin Pilot Ken, who were part of the 102 and Mr. Gallo in the hotel who were there at the CMR. And also look at the other fact. The chief minister himself went to the hotel where the observers were. And he brought the observers back to his residence to take a part and to lead the CLP meeting. There's certainly something that has gone wrong on the part of Mr. Dhariwal and the chief with uh, Mahesh Joshi. There are no two ways about it. 